Hi guys, so I am at Nia's apartment. I'm outside, I'm getting ready to go in. And you guys have been asking me to do a Q&A with her, so I'm so excited. I love coming here, because I usually leave with goodies. So, here I go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my Q&A series. I have Nia, and first I have to say, look at this hair. I see it, the curls are out. <laughs> so how, do you do this yourself? Yeah, I did this myself this morning. I just, I didn't, honestly, I wet it, but I didn't even wash it this morning because I didn't feel like it. But it's like, it's, it takes a little bit of time. Oh, it does? I had, yeah, I had to first put, in the shower, I put leave-in conditioner in, and then I get out of the shower, and then I have to put my oil in, and then I put, like, my moisturizing cream in, and I put my curl cream in, and then I have to, these two pieces are, are don't curl the same as those so i have to like twist those pieces in the front oh yeah and then i have to blow dry it oh, you or diffuse it yeah oh. i diffuse it until it's it's dry. my favorite and then then it's then you fluff it up in a little bit and then it's fine but yeah I, it's a process <laughs> i feel like you need to be a skims model oh i would love that i love Just their be, stuff I, I, I do too yeah. but i feel like you would be like perfect perfectly fit there. I feel like it would fit pretty well. I mean, I feel like that's a good collab. That would be they sent me some stuff, which has been really nice. But yeah, I. But with, I love with the natural hair, I love. <laughs> I like it better than braids. Really? I do. Oh, it's so much work to do this, but. <laughs> and the braids, you don't have to do anything for months. No, but I don't. <laughs> I remember the one time you were getting your braids done, and then I came back like five hours later, and. You were well, still getting your yeah, braids. Yeah, it's a full day process. It was two in the morning, I think, Yeah, that one. It takes like a whole day to get my hair done, especially since my hair is really thick. I have a lot of hair. So like it takes a long time to braid my hair. But then once it's, so if you take one day out to get it braided, then you don't have to do it for like two months. And months. Then it's great. <laughs> I mean, that's like a plus there. Yeah, I'm like one day and then you have it for months. And then this I have to do like every single day. No, uh, I don't do yeah. this every single day. I do this like once a week. And then once it starts getting kind of frizzy or the, the curls start falling out, I do like, um, I just put it up in like a ponytail or like a bun or like I start doing That's styles with it so that, you know. I just love it. I You're stunning. I can't stop looking oh, at you. thank so, you. I'm a girl. But I only wash my hair every four to five days. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't really wash your hair every day because no. it's not good for your hair to do that. Not at all. Kenzie has to wash us every day. Really? And I think Maddie does now, too, that she, yeah. But I Why? think because my hair. Do they just, do they work out a lot? At, they've been working out a lot. Matt, Mackenzie's been working out every day. Okay, that's why then. But yeah. I just walk and I never sweat, so, yeah. <laughs> But um, I just want to tell everybody how proud I am of Nia. Um, I, I've been through all of her journey with her at UCLA. She has. I went to her first dorm. You I did. Helped, I helped her move. Yep. I, I <laughs> cried the whole way to my car. And there was a girl. I don't know if I ever told you, but when I moved her in, I literally walked out and I just started crying. And there was a girl. She goes, are you lost? I'm like, oh, no. And then she goes, dance mom, Melissa. I'm like, yeah. Just, are you okay? I said, like, no. Nia just went to college. <laughs> Imagine seeing that on campus. I was like, I couldn't help it. You know me, I just cry. But uh, And then I moved you out of there, and then we mm -hmm. moved into the other apartment, yeah. and then into another apartment, mm -hmm. and then this place. You've helped me move in to so many places. I know, and I love it. It makes me so happy. Every time I move. I'm like, I'm there. But I love her campus. Your mom and I... Um, went to your first show that we yeah. went to together a couple of years ago and her and I were so lost but I looked at her and I said guess what I want to go here <laughs> I you said could. I love UCLA yeah. campus it's so pretty it's so pretty and I walked there with my friend Tiffany we walked through the yeah. campus just to walk but oh my gosh I would get lost all the time it's I get lost there all the time it's confusing and you're a senior yeah she's a senior yeah I can't even believe it. Isn't that crazy? It's so I'm crazy. almost done. I know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my free time. You'll find something. <laughs> I'm going to start these questions. Adelaide Jordan, Nia's dream job. Ooh, my dream job. That's a good one. My dream job, since I was like itty bitty, would be like just to be on Broadway. 
And I've done I've done an off Broadway show. And when I didn't I was like see 15. it. Because it got cut short. I think you were supposed to, but uh, it got cut short. I was so mad. <laughs> but I wanna I like my goal in life it. is that. But like one day I would love to be like an egot. Like that would be like What show? Oh, what show on Broadway? Yeah. If you could choose one that's like there now. Mm, that's a hard one, honestly. I feel like Oh, that's actually a really hard one. I don't even know. I really don't know. I couldn't pick one right now. But that's it, that's like a cool dream. I mean, round. I always say like Wicked because it's so iconic. Yeah. You know? But I could be your dresser. <laughs> you could. So wait. I I'm mean, wearing pink like uh, Galinda. Yeah. So, you know. Yes. <laughs> I always wanted to be a dresser on Broadway. They say it's like an amazing job. Yeah. I mean, they're amazing. They're they're yeah. really amazing. And they have such a good relationship with their cast. They do. Yeah. Because, you know, there's... um with Broadway and theater and everything, there's so many quick changes. And like the show that I did, like there were so many quick changes. I think I had, I think I had like a 15 second quick change once. And in the wings, the dressers, they have all your stuff right there already. So when you go off stage and it's like choreography, so you practice with them, they're like, okay, so first you're gonna step into, you're gonna take off your pants, you're gonna step into the new ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna button them while you're putting on your shirt and while you're putting on your shirt, I'll clip in the, after you put on your shirt, I'll clip wow. in the back. And while I'm clipping in the back, you're gonna put on your shoes. And then once you have your shoes on, I'm gonna zip you up and then while I'm zipping you up, you're you put on, you know, like it's like it's it's a process and it's like choreography, but like you get really close to them because they're literally dressing you and you're like happy. I you're like, oh my, oh my. <laughs> you know. I remember during recital, I'm like, Mr. Cunningham, girls gonna be naked, you better move. <laughs> <laughs> the boobs are gonna be flying. And he's like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, this one's a, a kind of like this one too. Uh, Tamaria Walker, do you did you prefer online or in person school more? Oh, in person for sure, for sure. I was homeschooled from like six through twelfth grade. Um, except I did go to school for like a little bit, a little bit for like not even a week. Then the in pandemic high school. happened when you were in college. Yeah, so so the pandemic happened while my my well halfway through my senior year of high school and then my whole first year of college was online um and it worked it was fine I think it wasn't was, hard though it was hard but it helped honestly it did help me in a way because it helped me ease into college a little bit like yeah. that curriculum and just how it works in general because I was so used to doing things like on my own pace so right. getting into that schedule did kind of help with it being online so I didn't have to like go in it was like yeah like culture shock it did help a little bit but I prefer it so much in person sure. yeah I, I prefer it in person for sure it's I just think. a lot more fun you get to actually like see people you get to see your professors I pay attention more in person I learn a lot more when I'm in person than online because oh, when I'm online sure. like my head like literally is just, you can like, like look another, at your phone yeah like my head is just like in another place and it's not like focused but when yeah. I'm in person, like, it's nice because you actually, like, are absor absorbing, like, what you're getting. Uh, and how's your workload this year? Um, It's fine right now. My I'm taking three classes. I'm in ASL, four. I'm in two English classes. So, yeah. Oh, there, wow. A lot of papers then? Um, Not too many papers. Because that's, like, yeah. Well, thank I God mean, you have your mom to check if you ever need yeah, to, Yeah, actually, know. yeah, exactly. But I have... Not to, yeah, these classes this quarter aren't that bad, honestly. They're really chill. I really like them. This is like the first quarter where I actually like all my classes. Because usually there's always like at least one or two that I'm like, I don't like this class. Like last oh, year I had to take stats and I absolutely oh, love it. I can't believe you didn't ask Greg for help on that one. because Honestly, I needed to. You, should, you, <laughs> know, need you, to. you know he can help any time with that. <laughs> But I like this question because I want to ask about this one. This is Kate Levy. I'd love to hear about your contemporary company that you're a part of at UCLA. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, and I, I want to say I am so impressed by her company. How do you say it? Icarus. I, yes. I'm, yeah. like, I'm so impressed because she'll tell you all about it. But I think it's amazing. So oh, I'll please. tell you why I'm impressed after she tells you about it. So Icarus Contemporary is a student-led dance company on well at UCLA. It's just student-run. So... Actually, this year, my senior year, I'm helping to run it. I'm the director of marketing now. So I'm the one who, like, runs all the social medias for Icarus. And, oh, like, great. I, I'm the one who, like, makes all the designs for, like, the merch and stuff. So, like, I, I do, like, kind of, like, the creative side of it. That's uh, Which is a lot of fun. Yeah. But <laughs> it's really cool. We get to perform at, like, basketball games and, like... 
uh, student events and charity events on at school sometimes. Um, we have like our end of the year showcase that's at like Voice Hall. We it was amazing money to perform there, which is Kenzie really awesome. cried. <laughs> I mean, you know, I did. <laughs> yeah, but... so Melissa and Kenzie went to our like it's our recital. We call it a showcase, but it's like a recital um on campus last year and they loved it which was really nice uh, i've been to a yeah. lot of your dance shows i yeah, mean i try to go to, been all to a them. lot of them yes i think you're i'm actually choreographing the big jazz group dance this year so <gasps> so i you know i'll be crying but i'm excited i know i tell everybody i'm, I'm like yeah, i'm here for nia you know not just nia i'm like they're like yeah we know the girls get so excited whenever uh, I tell them, like, you and my mom are coming. Like, they uh, get so excited. I yeah. love that. <laughs> but the, I was impressed that it's student-ran. And when I say student-ran, it's like you have to pay for the the everything. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, a lot. Like, those, the girls who are, like, running it, like. The costuming. Like, it's mean, insane. Like There's lots of costumes. We, yeah. So, there's, like, we don't have budget. Like, we really do not have budget. So, finding costumes and, like, uniform costumes costumes to fit everyone and you know it's it's that and finding costumes that we can afford is one thing and then yeah. also just like for voice at the end of the year because we have to pay for that space we fundraise a lot for that was that fifteen thousand dollars something crazy like that we do get fun we get some funding from the school and then we get other funding from uh i don't know like like we apply for grants and stuff yeah that's so good. we we get funding that way as well but it's it's a lot of work and those girls yeah. work really 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 hard and are always applying for funding and grants for and grant writing places. is legit i mean that's a lot of work yeah it's it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and like we're always trying to fundraise and it's but yeah it's really rewarding though because our our dance team is really like a little family and it's it and gets better every year i love it i was really impressed with um the ethnicities it was so many it wasn't just all white girls and yeah I, it's pretty diverse yeah it's, it's so pretty diverse. diverse yeah i mean i was like there was these beautiful asian girls and there's black and there's a lot of white girls but there's a lot of it's very diverse yeah and i was really pleased about that and i'm i love it i i enjoy it so much and, and it, nobody stands out which i love like there's yeah we all we're a really good group like we all kind of like mesh together and like it's a good cookie yeah group. it's really good it's really good i know i just love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. um um Oh, Abby. Yes, I love Abby. That. Oh, Abby. Abby. Um, what are you studying and what are your goals after UCLA? So I'm studying American literature and culture. That's my major. And then my goals for after UCLA, basically to do what I'm doing now, but like without school. Yeah. <laughs> to do, be doing more of what I'm doing because I feel like like my career has kind of like taken a back burner right now while yeah. I'm at school which like it's really hard to do both it, but right. to kind of get back into everything else like I would love mm -hmm. to start doing music again I would love to start acting again but also there's the strike going on so uh -huh. after that um almost through uh, almost through I would love to start writing more which would be really awesome another good I would like to use use my degree for something you know Sammy Iannucci Nia, would you ever consider collabing with Kenzie? Oh, See, that was a good segue. That's a good segue. That's a good segue. I definitely would. Wouldn't that be so cute? That would be so cute. Like, the cutest duet partner <laughs> ever. Oh, my gosh. The duo is getting a little duo, like a little collab. That would be so cute. How? That would be so cute. And you could have two dance moms on set of a music I video, mean, just putting it out there. It would be pretty iconic. Like, yeah. It would. So that is that. And then <laughs> we're going to go into the next one, because um, I like this one. Um, Ashley, Nicole, what was your favorite duet with Kenzie? Oh, that's a really good one. I think it has to be, like, the circus one. Me too! Really? Like, I feel like it has to be that one. I Like, Kenzie was, like, the little lion, and I was, like, the... She conductor. did a back bend underneath you. Yep. How were you? Were you in a back bend? I was in the back bend. So I, I would be in the back bend. Kenzie does a back bend. And then she, Kenzie was just so tiny. She's she, could just, <laughs> she could just do a back bend and like crawl right underneath me. Yeah. I feel like that was just so cute. Oh my God. That's like the cutest thing <laughs> ever. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, 
Uh, Bethany, was that Bethany? Yeah, Bethany Trench. What was both of your guys' favorite solo duet trio group number? We don't have to do all of them, but let's say, what was your favorite solo? And I'll tell you what my favorite solo is of yours. Favorite solo. That's a hard one. Um, probably Working Girl, just because it was pretty like. What looking back at it, like I feel like that's probably one of my most like well known solos. Like Laquifa or like Working Girl, but Working Girl was like Laquifa two point so probably that one. Laquifa one. Yeah. <laughs> um, mine was Maya Angelou. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good one. I I forgot about that one. Honestly, I just it just gives me chills. Yeah, like, you know, if I see it, I'm like, oh, you know, I like that one. No, that was actually, that's actually, I, honestly, that could be my favorite too. Yeah. Those two were pretty, pretty good. And I really liked my last solo that I did on the show too, because it just showed my growth throughout like the years. So like my last solo, couldn't tell you what it was called, but. I don't know last, what half of them are. Yeah, I'm like, I, I couldn't tell you what the last solo was called, but the last solo I did on the show was probably like, I would say what probably was my best solo but my most memorable solos would be like my angelou yeah. or like yeah I love that. um the working girl solo and oh i want to go back to your contemporary group uh my favorite dance that you did was the one that they showed on the screen um when you guys were outside in i think you were in jeans oh we did it like outside we did it like on a hiking trail basically oh. That dance, I wanted to like watch it? it. I wanted to watch it again, and because I couldn't see it big enough. Yeah. But I wish I could see it again because it was so well done. I don't even know who filmed it, but the filming was amazing, and it was a beautiful scene, and it was just such a great dance. Oh, thank you. So you got to tell the girls, I love that one. Yeah, I. It's uh, what was it called? Oh, it was Skinny Love. We did it to the song Skinny Love, um, and it was like with my dance company, but it's. It's on our YouTube channel. Oh. It's on our YouTube channel. But yeah, it's like. Oh, I'll put it. It's I'll pretty put the, We'll pretty. put the YouTube channel down below <laughs> of your dance company. Yeah, so that people good. Can, yeah, I think that. it's great. I think it's. So you guys can see what, what I do. Yeah, <laughs> I love what you do. I love what you do. This is just up me and Nia's aisle. Uh, Jaden, drink it. What's Nia's favorite animal? Ooh, a dog for sure. Yeah, it's always going to be a dog. I mean, wow. if I had to pick, like, a zoo animal, I'd definitely say, like, a giraffe or an elephant. Yeah, like, definitely a dog. Love. But, like, animal in general, for sure a dog. Yeah. For sure. Like, so Nia, <laughs> Nia wanted a dog so bad, and then she got her dog, and then she got, then they got another dog, and then they got another we dog. Have three dogs. <laughs> we have three dogs at home. I know. I love it. Yeah. I know. I love when you're, when you're on your phone with your, your mom, and she's out of breath. I'm like, taking the dogs out. She goes, yeah. <laughs> tank, tank. Yes. We have so many dogs, but we love them. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. They're just like such a crack up. I love it. Hannah Vain Vain Mom, what's something you've been been watching? She needs mm. recommendations. What have I been? Okay, so Gabe and I started watching Avatar: The Last Airbender, and let me just say, that is it is, a show? It's or? a great show. Really, it's a great show. It used to be a Nickelodeon. Oh, it's really? a cartoon. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really good. It's oh, wow. really, really good. And I watched it when I was younger, but I never finished it. And like, so when we started it, I just wanted to, like, I told Gabe, I was like, I really want to watch a show. And Gabe is my boyfriend, by the way. Yeah. And like, and he's so cute. I, <laughs> I just really wanted to watch a show with him. I was like, we need to watch a show together. We need to start a series together. So he's like, oh, we should watch Avatar. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, I'm, it's a cartoon. That. And I like cartoons, but I'm like, I don't know if I really want to do that. But, oh, my gosh. It's so good. It's so good. And I forgot how good it was. I love Excellent. that. Excellent. It's such a great show. You guys should watch it. Well, I just binge watched The Good Witch. I know it's such a childish show. but Did you I, like it? I loved it. I love teen drama shows. Oh, I love a teen drama. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, I love, like, Never Have I Ever... <gasps> And um, what are those other ones? I love, I love. Tell good, me, because I want, I need I some. I love a good teen drama show. So Glenn that does my hair, he is, you know, in his 40s and he loves teen angst too. No, I love it. I, and we no, always, not the scary yeah. ones, like not 13 Reasons Why. Like, no. It makes me too sad. Like I need something kind of like lighthearted. It can be like a little sad, but like. Yeah, I don't like sad. But Especially I mean like Gossip night. Girl, like. 
I love I love Gossip Girl. I watched that on tour with Maddie when she was on tour. <laughs> Every night, Gossip Girl. I love it. And security would say, I hate the show, and they would be like this. <laughs> oh, and New Girl? Oh, is that good? It's so good. Okay. You've never watched New no. Girl? No. Do you know what? It's been showing up. You I'm... remind me of Jess on the show because she's just start. happy. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start watching that tonight. You have to. I, I think you would it. actually enjoy it. It's with uh, Zoe Deschanel. I love her. Yeah, me too. Okay. I am doing that. Oh my gosh. I feel like you would love It's so cute. It's so cute. I love that. <laughs> well, thanks guys. Thank you for Nia. I'm so happy she's here. I know everybody's like, where's Nia? Where's Nia? I'm like, she's busy. She's in college and she's going to let me know. And then our mom said, hey, I think Nia can do a video with you this weekend. I'm like, yay. So thanks so much. I'll put Nia's socials down there and also her dance company so you can check it out. Check out the dance in outside and tell me what it is, because but I'll look it up too. But I love you guys so much and make sure that you tell me what you want me to do next time. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>